You see that all that area behind me? A house is gonna be built on that big slab, probably in the next year. All right, you guys, here we are. We're out at the three acres, and today we're breaking ground. Such an exciting day. The house pad is right behind me. There's several big pine trees that we've got to get up and out of there. Now, that's not just cutting them down. We've actually got to dig them up, get the whole root system out, which is going to be an incredible job. Luckily, my dad and brother, they're like masters on bobcats, so. All right, you guys, so we have officially broke ground on the new house. That is the drain field. And over there in that back corner is our new pond. He's using this laser to set the forms at exactly the right height all the way around. My dad's using the bobcat to dig the footers of the house. The footers are the base of the foundation. If you don't build the foundation perfect, the house will never be perfect. Ever since I was a little kid, that's what my dad has done, is dig footers and build foundations on homes. As a dad, he built a really great foundation on our family. This is our septic tank. The septic is all hooked up to the house. And all these pipes have a meaning. Blue stands for cold water, hot stands for, or red stands for hot water. So basically you're gonna have a pump on your water heater and it's gonna continuously move hot water throughout the home. So when you open the faucet and ask it for hot water, it's there and you're not waiting 30 seconds, two minutes for water. The slab is coming together. Dad's doing some final grading. Whenever we refer to grading, that means the, the dirt has to be smoothed out, but it also has to be at the right pitch, at the right level. And uh, I can just tell you right now, that's not my profession. That's their profession. Here in the south, we have what's called a subterranean termite. It's a termite that lives in the ground and they are highly destructive. The reason they're spraying it now is you need to have that chemical barrier underneath the foundation of the home so that at no point can you get the subterranean termites coming up through the slab into the interior of your home. It is March 6th, 2019. And we're talking about a very special day. All right, you guys, so check this out to be able to look back at this years from now and show the girls where we built this house and how it was all built man it's such a blessing it's so cool to think like this is going to be our big shower where we walk in there'll be a big like rain shower here and another one coming off the wall and then when we walk in this is going to be a huge whirlpool tub and the reason the tub is on the inside of the shower because every time I take a, a bath, I always get the floor wet. Well, guess what? Now, whenever I get the floor wet, I'm just getting the shower wet. This guy right here is the man. Like, this is Cool Hand Luke. This is Dave Haugen with Dave Haugen Construction. And uh, he's known my dad for about 40, 50 years. And uh, 
He's overseeing this whole project, making sure it goes smoothly. When you're building a house, you need one person that is a great communicator. That's this guy. What are you doing? Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey. This is the lady in charge right here. Hi, baby. This is Mama. It appears these guys are at least 50% squirrel. It's amazing to think that that's my family's home. Aria and Emma. Aria just turned three years old. We had her birthday out here, and this was, this was one of the gifts for the girls, their swing set. Guys from WW just showed up, and our windows are here. Main reason we went with WW Lumber is, A, they had great prices, they had everything we needed, awesome, personable expertise. Like, whenever I call in, they can answer all my questions and explain to me what's actually going on but that truck back there is a key. They deliver everything we need. They delivered all our block, all the wood, everything. And they deliver it as we need it. So, just a huge blessing. Hard to find good help. This cat right here, A number one. Measured the wall, found center, hung everything. Everything is by myself, okay? Oh, wait, yeah. wait, I'll have to get out of the car. And if you don't like it, I might be here just a little bit because I actually Why think you're gonna I love like it. it. But, and I hung up everything I did myself. So when you open the front doors, this will be just above the chandelier. After doing all the shopping, all the looking, all the questioning, we got it. It looks better than what I even imagined. It looks so good. Dave, in your life, how many yards of concrete do you think you've come <laughs> along? I have no idea. I wish I had a dollar for every pin I drove, though. I'd be a millionaire. All this like overgrown nonsense is about to go. We're gonna take all the grass out here. We're gonna put up some uh, four by fours, put in some four by fours, concrete them in so it's nice and solid.
that all that area behind me? A house is gonna be built on that big slab, probably in the next year. This process started about two years ago. We thought it was gonna cost X, it costed twice as much as that. And I've been postponing this house tour because I wanted it to be perfect. But what I've learned over the last couple years is that when you're building in a, a home and when you're raising a family, nothing is ever perfect. It's always a work in progress. So that is our home and let's take a ride. Woo! We had Mr. Danny from Landscape Solutions. He came in, put together a full plan for our landscape, did an amazing job. He and his guys built everything that you see here. And this was actually the final part of this. And if you look out front here, when we started this process, that entire front was just a huge jungle. And I gotta give the biggest of shout outs to my dad. Dad, you have done more work around our house than I can even imagine. This all got torn down. PJ Cruz from Everglades Farm Equipment brought in a grinder. We ground up a lot of this and now we have a beautiful front. Come on in, you guys. This is our great room. We designed this house to be a place that welcomes friends and family. The entire house was built around this wall and Sarah did an amazing job. These are all mounts that mean so much to us. I come home and Sarah had taken a bunch of this scrap wood and built that TGBTG. Back in about July of 1997, I was in an outer island of Fiji, writing in my journal. I was so tired one night that I simply wrote, am tired. And instead of writing out the full, to God be the glory, I just wrote TGBTG. The next night I was writing my journal, I saw it, I repeated it. And from 1997 till now, TGBTG is everywhere. I put it everywhere because I always really want to remember, thank you Lord for all of my blessings, to God be the glory. and. A grateful heart is a happy heart. This house is more than I ever dreamed I would have. Like little things like this. See this door? We have so many lights and different fixtures in this house. All you gotta do, touch that, and that reveals all of your switches that you don't use all the time. Little things like this. This is our pantry. All of the wood that make up the shelves in the pantry it's all the same wood that make up the wall, that make up the beams, that make up the trim. It all runs together. And right here, this is the kitchen. This is something that we designed and built for our channel, for Deer Meat for Dinner. Dining room table, living room, the bar area, the island, open cooktop with lights and a fan. It's so nice, but um, I wanted to have double ovens. I wanted to have a big refrigerator. I wanted to have big sinks so there was plenty of room for everything. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Prime Stone. That's a company down in Southern West Palm Beach. They were so helpful with us. They moved so many slabs of granite. They went through and meticulously helped us pick out the exact slabs of granite. This is called Taj Mahal and I love it. It kind of reminded me of like elephant hide. I think it's just so beautiful. This is our guest room. We built a room big enough that there's plenty of room. We've got a computer, we've got a TV on the wall. You got all the accommodations at home and it's where any of our friends and family stay when they come here. And from the guest room, we come into the guest bathroom. Sarah designed all of this. I mean, Sarah worked with a lady called Jeanette's Interiors out in Okeechobee, Florida, and she did so much work in this house. I was on the road traveling and filming a ton, and construction just isn't my profession. She picked out everything, and from hanging stuff on the wall to the interior design, picking out all these beautiful rock bands and different colored tile, um, looking at all the plumbing, Jet Plumbing. Jay, you are amazing. If you guys are building a house anywhere out here, I guarantee you Jet Plumbing is as good as they come. Um, you look at all the countertops, every countertop in the whole house is the same Taj Mahal. We wanted it all to match, and that's a stone bowl that is one of a kind. 
Uh, I think Sarah got it from Wayfair. It's a stone, they hollow it out. Every single one is unique, and uh, that one's ours. All right, so this is the laundry room, and I bought the commercial size Maytag washer and dryer because we go through a pile of laundry. I can like barely reach the bottom, you guys. This is like a dream of mine to have such a big washer that I love so much and a dryer. Um, we got a closet right here, a bunch of storage, another sink so when Rob's out fishing or hunting or whatever, he can throw his dirty clothes in there, use it however he wants. And then we also have another refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> because um, when we have guests over, we, we like to entertain and we have this one for any meat, parties, Right. Drinks, anything, you name it. So this comes in super handy. All of our appliances we got from a gentleman in Georgia named Andy Clark, Clark's Appliances. We went with the Frigidaire Professional. And I've got to say, we've been in the house now for about seven or eight months. No problems whatsoever. And Andy Clark's a great guy, gave us a great price, and we couldn't be happier. Come on, you want to see the, uh, the master bedroom? All right, this is our room. I was really confused when we started this build. I didn't know. I Literally, she drew up the whole house, did everything. We, we did work with an architect to, to do the fine deal details, but she designed everything in the house. This is our master bedroom, and I think she did a great job. Everything, if you look like even all of our lights, all of our fans, all of the accents and details, everything is dear. Okay, I'm not this organized in all honesty. Sarah keeps my clothes really done up. I got like all my jeans, all my khakis, all my board shorts, underwear, socks, and all of these cabinets. Oh man, I gotta show y'all this. This is something I'll never forget. Do you believe in angels? I do. This was signed by a girl named Miriam Ryan Cox. This cowboy hat, I wore this cowboy hat everywhere for years until it was completely worn out. Miriam, Miriam Ryan Cox, I don't know where you are, but you have touched my life in a huge way. Typically, a master bath isn't something exciting for a guy, but for me, this is a dream come true. Right in here is like my full-on happy place. Walk in here, the temperature is already set. All you gotta do is turn that on, turn that on, turn that on. Boom, we're ready to rock. I have a really bad foot. I crushed it when I was seven years old. So I love to get in this tub, get it as hot as I can, turn on the jets, relax, unwind, and just let that circulate there, you know, give my foot some therapy. But the part about it that's wonderful is whenever I get out, I'm in the shower. Flip on the shower, rinse off, grab a towel, dry off, and I've never got the floor wet. A tub inside the shower. So this is my vanity. Our plumber Justin was like, hey, vanity would be, would be great here. So we put one in. I have the mirror to match the mirror from this, the lights to match the lights from this, and it ties in really nicely. And I actually use it quite often. I didn't think I would, but I use this a lot. And here we are in the girls' happy place. This is the girls' playroom. This is actually our one of our little couches from our old rental. We got them a cool little TV on the side. No, that's for our old rental too. Yeah, this is from the old rental as well. There's a lot of stuff that we that we recycled here because look, man. Can I sit on the, on the top of the What now? Can you tell us what this is, Aria? What is this? A house. It's a house, and what's in it? Food stuff. <laughs> Food stuff. Aria and Emma love coming in here and pretending that they're making a dinner. They act like they're doing a catch, clean, and cook all the time. Look at this. Beautiful. Lots of light. A big mirror. And you can see like these little blue tags. These are spots that Sarah has marked so we can get it fixed up. But as you can tell, we just take them down because it'll get fixed in some time. I love this. See these little footstools? Sarah made them and painted them and put them here. Just all the little accents like the rose and all the flowers. Like, really cool, like, just all these bands, every shower, every bathroom has its own unique look, and um, I think Sarah did a good job. Now, let me ask you guys a question. If you think Sarah designed and decorated an amazing house, drop a thumbs up below and leave us a comment. 
check out the girls' room. Okay, so this is the girls' room, and my sister came down all the way from Wisconsin to paint this mural in the girls' room, so this is very special. And I found that deer bedding, so she matched the deer to their bedding, so everything matches. And she did a phenomenal job. It took her like three days, all by a little paintbrush. She did a really good job. So um, my sister has a little touch in this room. They share the same bed because they love sleeping together, and I snuggle with them, or Rob snuggles with them, so it works out really nicely. Um, and then we had signs made years ago. Yeah, shout out to Julie Berg. Thank you so much. Now here's the funny thing. Aria sign is on this side, Emma's sign is on that side. If you try making Aria sleep over there, ain't happening. <laughs> they only sleep on their own side. And here is our back porch. This is somewhere that's really, really awesome. I love this area. We're gonna be putting a TV on the wall there and putting like a little serving station here. But everything is a work in progress. Nothing is gonna be completely done. I do love how Sarah picked out all these matching fans with the deer antlers and all the lights on the wall have deer on them. And we've learned, I mean, we're learning as we go. Out here, we live in very rural area. There's these little spider webs get on everything. So, you know, how do you manage that? How do you take care of it? It's always trying to figure stuff out. But I want to take this time to tell each and every one of you guys being able to build this home and live here is an absolute blessing. This is where we plan to raise our family. We're gonna have all kinds of ups and downs and all arounds, but this is our home. And this is made possible by all of you showing support to Deer Meat for Dinner. It, I, I will never be able to thank you guys enough. You've been asking for a tour of our house for a long time, and I hope you enjoyed it. But I have one more thing to show you. Let me show you my office where everything is made. How do you like my glasses? This is my office, you guys. Um, this is something really cool. Well, that's my turkey. Man. This is a welded piece of art made by Wyatt Russman. He started out just as like a fan of the channel, but he's turned into an amazing friend of mine. And he does some of the most beautiful art ever and so Wyatt love you brother thank you so much for this this sits in my office to keep me reminded about great friends and enjoying life this is something that I absolutely love but have no earthly idea where it came from I came home and it was sitting in my office and I'm like oh my lord that's so going up um, right now we're getting ready to go on a huge trip, so most of our gear we've moved out into the living room. Otherwise it's all stacked up right here. Who knows what that is? That's my trophy from the fishing tournament in Saudi Arabia. Uh, this was actually the box that was sitting on my table. Tons of other kinds of gear in here. This is Jordy, and this is where I edit. Oh, and check this out. Brooksy, what's up, man? Got me a couple of Yeeman lures. You know, these things are gonna do work. Um, this is where I edit. For those of you wondering, I shoot using a Canon XF400, a Sony NX80, a Sony 6400, and a variety of GoPros and the Mavic 2 drone. Um, and my editing software is Premiere Pro. Check this out, watch. This is the video I'm editing right now. Watch. Does it look familiar? You see that all that area behind me? A house is gonna be built on that big flat, probably in the next year. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm editing right now. And uh, this is where it all goes down. I can never thank y'all enough for this, but um, that's all I got for you now. Take care, God bless, and we go.